All right. So today is the day or the anniversary of uh, Sir Lyndon Oscar Penland's uh, death. You know, and um, I just wanted to commemorate that. And, you know, I've been kind of staying back and watching a lot of important days uh, slide by. This isn't going to be a debate about uh, Lyndon Oscar Penland per se, but this is actually going to be a debate, not really a debate, but just my thoughts on our view, our outlook. When I say, when we say black heroes, right? Now, um, I had a short discussion with my big brother, uh, Ian Morris. Shout out to him. I'm sure he can click on if he in live or whatever, you know, but uh, I can be posting this on my new uh, YouTube page. So those of you who, you know, want to follow, I've been doing a lot of work lately. That's why I've been off the grid. I've been working extremely hard. And uh, my new uh, YouTube channel is uh, coming up. And uh, it's called African Glory, African with a K, uh, Glory. So you can check it out. Subscribe now. I have uh, two videos up there right now. One video with me and Dr. Umar Johnson and Sensal. And another video uh, when I'm actually uh, on Guardian Radio live with our nelson smith okay so uh but yeah back to the topic uh this notion of hero right um the whole notion of hero as we think of it we have we all know that we in a certain system a eurocentric system um and we have adopted many things uh from that system that sometimes we don't even realize some of us may see it more than others some of us may acknowledge it some of us uh don't at all Okay, but um, at the end of the day, um, this notion of hero, you know, uh, I, I personally like to call it uh, this uh, Black Moses uh, syndrome, right? So we have to stop this view where, you know, we're looking for this holy, uh, perfect character, you understand? Um, and not suggesting that none of our black heroes are actually heroes. We have those that struggle against us that we must commemorate. People like Kwame, you know, not Kwari, you know, Kwame, you know, I can get into that later. That's some of the research I've been doing right there, but I can leave that one right there. You got to tune into my channel and I have a lot of uh, seminal works and uh, un untouched uh, elements of black Bahamian history, particularly how it relates to the uh, rest of the African diaspora, to the Caribbean diaspora. Okay. So, um, but this notion of hero. You know, we have to stop looking for this perfect black Moses to come and rescue us all, right? This uh, so-called kind of a uh, Christ figure to come and uh, rescue us all, right? And at heart, in an African society, is you know we are all socialists at heart, whether you want to admit it or not. We have socialist tendencies, and you have many issues of class and whatnot that are often not acknowledged. And these issues of class have been adopted by us. Right, and therefore we we make heroes out of out of all of these people, and we don't deal with these issues of class that has now uh, plagued our communities. Right, and so now we have this uh, petty bourgeoisie that really don't even uh, check for those that are under. You know, so it's like the sense of you know I made it out, I slipped through the cracks. Why this person can't do it? Why that person can't do it? You know, so um, shout out to Lyndon Oscar Pillen because personally for me. As a black Bahamian, he's a hero. You know, some of his disappointments later on in life, and I will say there were some huge disappointments for me personally, and I'm sure many would agree, but it still don't negate him, you know, putting an end to things like the truck system, the credit system, the sharecropper system, you know, getting locked up on Black Tuesday with Milo Butler. And it's a reason people like Milo Butler and even Randall Fawkes at certain points of his life uh, decided to put their differences aside and go in with him. You know, and Randall Fawkes is one of our greatest unsung heroes um, and a favorite of many uh, African international, uh, Pan-African, Rastafari. Many of us are uh, learning now more and more about Randall Fawkes, C.R. Walker, L.W. Young, um, and many of these other leaders uh, with African tendencies. We'll just leave that right there. But I don't want to make it too long. You know, um, didn't want to make it, but I see a lot of people tuning in now, so... I get or a few people so I can go a little longer. But I was pretty much just talking about uh, the notion of heroes and us looking for this Black Moses, what, what I kind of referring to as this Black Moses syndrome. And that we have to look within ourselves and coming from within our community. 
because while we commemorate Sir Lyndon Oscar Pinlin, and of course today is the anniversary of his death, you know, God bless the dead, that's why I raised the question, because he is also one of the uh, most uh, debated topics of a Bahamian hero, one that I think is unfair while we refuse to debate uh, so many other men that are much less deserving uh, of that title of a Bahamian hero, right? Uh, so, you know, uh, but when we look for this hero, we have to look from within ourselves. So the general strike was a great example. I have a series coming up on my uh, YouTube channel as well. It's going to be called Bahamian Griots. Um, the first episode will be coming up within the next few weeks or so. Um, it's a man out of Fox Hill who was born in 1942. So I can leave that right there. And uh, when you all see it, y'all can, I'm sure y'all can enjoy it. Um, I'll be conducting the interview as well. And we'll be having a really nice, no holds barred uh, discussion on the things that were there. But one of the things he mentioned, just to give you a taste, is how the general strike operated. You know, remember it was 19 days. You know, and all these times, he, he actually reminded me. Of all the times he heard that this fella went missing and dead and the police beat up this fella. And he always kind of remembered that so many people that are unnamed. You understand? And when you're dealing with things like uh, child slavery and stuff like that, it's almost unfair. Because when you do this hero thing, you, you, you insert this hierarchy into the psyche. You understand? And like, as I mentioned before, of course, there are many, you know, those that struck out against slavery as uh, my brother Ian Mor Mora mentioned earlier in our discussion, those that were many, many that were lynched out at the wharf and so many more. You know, you have strong black cake, erroneously called poor black cake. Uh, you have Mary Prince, born in Bermuda, enslaved in the Bahamas, you know, escaped their freedom and um, gave that crucial, one of those crucial speeches in Parliament that led to the emancipation of slavery. And this woman, by all intents and purposes, was a Bahamian woman. Okay, so... Uh, well, the Bahamas didn't exist then, but y'all y'all catch my drift. We could claim up, you know, that's what I'm saying here. So uh, I can close it out now. I didn't want to stay uh, too long. It's my first time going live or doing anything like that. But um, I can stop this one now. But this is going to be something that's a lot more uh, common. I can be doing it a lot more. I probably can get better at it as I go along. Because I'm used to like holding a phone to my own face and recording. It's different. I used to having people in front of me and, and doing that uh, type of thing. So bear with me. But I promise that I'll bring some riveting information on black Bahamian history and also uh, black history in general. And don't forget to, cloak, to quote uh, Dr. John Henry Clark. Um, the missing pages of human history are actually African history. So it's, a, of course, a message for people of African descent, but it's really a message for everybody. And in the Bahamas, for too long, we've been victims of this whitewashed, uh, sugar-coated history. Personally, I'm getting sick and tired of it. So this is just me coming to you personally. Christopher O.B.A.K. Behanzian Garifuna Davis. Coming at you live. And I out. So thanks for those who tuned in. Like it, share. Oh, YouTube channel again for those who just tuned in. This can be going up on YouTube as well, even though it's just a short intro to what I've been doing. Um... African Glory, African with a K, Glory. Um, check it out on YouTube and subscribe. All right, so uh, I'll be signing off now. Blessings for everyone who uh, supported and all those things. Ashe, sister. <laughs> See y'all later.